Hi there. Good morning. Welcome to tdcat.com. And apologies, I've got a kind of cold and a cough at the moment. So I may be a little, uh, I don't know, might sound a bit more under the weather than I do usually. So any sympathy is um, welcomed, you know, if you want to comment and say that uh, you hope I feel better soon or something like that. Fine. Anyway, uh, today we're talking about uh, Google Drive and three methods of sharing on Google Drive. And the, the, um, the three methods we're going to talk about today is just standard sharing. Secondly, a direct download link and how to create one of those. And thirdly, a direct download link that avoids the silly virus warning that you get when files are above a certain size on Google Drive. Now, none of these methods are really perfect. Google haven't implemented it terribly well in any way, apart from standard sharing, which of course works just normally. Uh, and I won't spend too much time on that because that is pretty much as it is with most uh, cloud services. So what I'm gonna do in here, I'm gonna go into my downloads folder in my drive and I'm just going to create something for the purposes of this test. So I'm going to create a folder that we wanted to share. So test share. And what I'll do to start with is just put a file in there. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'll just um, find something from my oddly, I'm spending a long time deciding. So I'll just choose a logo here. We've got a logo. Great. Let's just put a logo in there. And that is just an image file, very very small, only 7K. So standard sharing on Google Drive is simple. You go to share and you can either enter names, but most of the time, if you're doing it for online uh, stuff like this, you're gonna wanna get a link, but you can get a link by clicking on advanced and then you've got better choices because you can change all the permissions in fairly granular sort of um, detail. You know, you can have it just so it's only um, shared with very specific people, or you can do it right up to the top here where anybody can find it. So that's what we're gonna do for this one. Just put it so everybody can see this file. And then you get given a link like this. And that is the most simple way to share on Google Drive. Right? That's the same as anything. You, so you send the link and someone gets directed to a page that they don't have to log into, but it still looks like Google Drive. There's no direct link to it. They still have to be taken to another web page, which looks like Google Drive and says, this is a Google Drive file. Do you want to download this file? And that's not perfect really, is it? I mean, it's good for some stuff and fine for just sending files out between colleagues or whatever it might be, but it's not good for everything. So just that, just for your information, you'll see that that is shared now by this logo here. And if you do want to change that back, you can um, <clears throat> uh, you can just go into advanced again and change these back to off, and then that that removes removes the share from that. Pretty straightforward stuff. But if we want to do a direct download link to that file, so that someone is pushed to just download it, uh, an image isn't necessarily the best thing because a lot of browsers always view an image automatically. But what you need to do is you need to get the ID. Every single file on Google Drive has an ID. Google Drive doesn't care about the name of the file. It cares about the ID of the file. And that's a great thing with Google Drive because it means that if a file is shared to, with someone else, the ID of that file belongs to me. So no one else has to use the space to share that file, unlike Dropbox, whereas if you share files, Everybody uses the same amount of space. If you share a gig of files, everybody uses a gig. At least that's how it used to be. And uh, with Google Drive, it's my file. If I use a gig on my the ID of my file, no one else uses that gig of space. That makes perfect sense as far as I'm concerned. So what we'll do is go to sh um, share. You can just do get link here. That's quite a nice way of doing it. But of course, you have to go to the sharing settings because you have to open it up and make sure the file is visible to everybody. But if I go to get link here, I can actually just select and get this file ID out very simply. So if I sort of just select along by pressing shift and the right cursor, I can get that link, copy that, and I'm just going to copy that into a file here. So I've got that, I've got that ID in a um, notepad file just on my other screen. But 
I'm still going to have to go into sharing settings because I need to make this. I just have to go into advanced and make this open to everybody again. So let's make it open to everybody. Done. Right. Now, with, that I with the ID of the file, I need to go and start my address with this. This is the very specific Google Drive address, which tells a file to be downloaded rather than sort of opened in their page. So it's drive.google.com forward slash UC. And then we're going to tell it to export. The export type is a download. And then carry on the string with ID equals and then we're going to just paste in the ID of that file. So again, as I say, the file name doesn't matter. It's all about the ID, and the IDs are really not very user-friendly names. So there you go. And what you'll see down the bottom of the screen, if I zoom in quickly, is that that file has now that just downloaded straight away. It didn't even prompt me, didn't prompt me with anything. It just did downloaded. The reason it's got brackets one next to it is because it's just downloaded to the desktop and I took it off the desktop. So it's actually just replaced the file name with a unique file name, which, you know, wouldn't happen if someone else downloaded that file. So we now have a link. I, that, well, I don't actually have it in there anymore, but that's... You can create that. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll also put that that uh, uh, URL. So the URL you have to start with is https drive.google.com. You see, export equals download and the ID equals, and then we can paste in the ID. So that is the link. To our file and you can now put that into a shortener or something like that and uh, and send that link to other people so you can monitor your clicks and just give a more user-friendly uh, url but again that's not perfect because if i put a bigger file in here and i'm going to just put in a video into here which is a little larger so it might take a few seconds to upload hopefully not too long um, it's 80 meg this particular file so bear with me while this uploads in fact, I'll just pause the tutorial and jump over this bit. Right, so we're just coming up to the end of that upload. And we now have a video in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly share that uh, so anyone can see it. Go public. Nice. Okay. Um, so I do have that ID. I've just copied the whole, whole link, so it's fine. And if I do the same thing again up here... Google.com forward slash uc export equals download and you can you can just paste this and there are, there are websites to do this for you as well so you know you don't have to mess about quite so much as i'm messing about here but i just wanted to understand all the different ways of doing this so what you'll get now see this is the problem what we have now is Google can't scan this file for viruses. So this file is 80 meg, so it exceeds the maximum file that Google can scan. And you, you can just download it, and that's fine. But if you're using a program like uh, WGET or something like that, this will probably mess it up. And um, if you are trying to give that kind of seamless user experience with just a download button on a web page or something... You don't want people get being redirected to this page. It just looks it looks like an error, doesn't it, really? It looks like some a bad thing. So people will get a bit nervous and think, actually, I don't want to don't want to download this, download this because just they just see the word virus and it's really off-putting. So the way to get around this is to host the file essentially on Google Drive. And you can do that in the following way. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive. And what I'm interested to do now is share the entire folder. So not the file. Not I mean, the files are shared here. That's fine. But I want to share the whole folder. So let's do that here and go into advanced. And again, change this to public. And we now have an ID for the folder. So I'm just going to copy that whole link out into notepad again 
And what you'll see in here is this is an actual folder ID. It's not a file ID because folders equally have IDs on Google. So that up, up to there. So basically an ampersand is used to kind of continue, uh, put a new, new expression basically in, into a string. And, uh, that up to there, which is now, is the is the ID for the folder. So if we can, if, we, if it'll let us, no, well, we've got it in the, we've got it in there anyway, so it's fine. Uh, and we're so done. And now what we need to do is browse to that folder, and you can do that by using a different part. So not drive.google.com. You actually need to use googledrive.com. And it has to be googledrive.com because it won't use, it won't work if you said drive.google.com. And then you need to put in the ID of the of the file. Sorry, you know, you need to put googledrive.com forward slash host forward slash and then the ID of the folder that you just shared, which in this case is that. And you'll now see that this is like an actual kind of hosted page and I can hover over here. So I've got two options now. I can either continue that string, that's that web address rather, and do a forward slash and then the name of this file, or I can see, look down the bottom and see the file that's created. I'll just zoom in on that because it's a little bit difficult to see, but you can see that it's created and this enormous, unique kind of URL specifically for this file, and that will work. So if I right click on here now, <laughs> and do copy link address. There is a downloadable direct download link to the file. Now we don't have the benefit, it is actually going to an AVI file, so it is possible that your browser will try and open this in whatever program it opens AVI files in. But you know, you just have to deal with that. And uh, that's why I say there is no perfect way to do this. But what you do have there is a d direct download link to the file and I'll prove it. I just delete that file off my desktop this time. Bye. And then I'll just hit return. And you'll see that it's now started to download in the bottom here. In fact, it has just downloaded rather than opening, which is great. And what I would typically do with that now is go to a shortener, which I'm not, oddly not signed into. I thought I would be. I do have a, yeah. So, and I would paste it here. I've now created, using this huge link, it's now created a nice short link there and I can customize it or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> there you go. I mean, they there are the three main methods of sharing files on Google Drive. And I'm sorry that it's taken a little bit long to explain this, but I wanted to go in some detail because I looked online for this. <coughs> and all I could find was random videos of of some cheesy Muzak and someone just br randomly browsing around the screen and doing stuff, not really explaining in any detail what was going on or what was being done. And uh, so I kind of put it all together, the three versions, the three methods of doing this, and hopefully this will be useful for someone. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for bearing with me. If you like what, uh, what we're doing here in this channel, pretty much random tutorials and reviews, really, of anything tech, um, uh, photography, video, that type of stuff, then please do subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Cheers. Bye.